What's going on guys? It's Greg from East Coast Eyes and they've got another uh, gear review for today and this one is a pair of gloves, the newest gloves from STX. So I've personally worn STX gloves for a long time, they've switched in and out between other brands um, but the STX ones are ones I wore in college, the K-2, so uh, long-standing STX glove user and today we have their newest ones, the Surgeon 500 glove which are really nice and there's, there's a couple of different features that I think are pretty cool that we'll tell you guys about. So. Start off just the basic stats. Uh, these gloves are $159 right now and they're available right now. They come in like six different colors and they come in 12 inch, 13 inch, and 14 inch, which is nice. You don't often see too many pairs of gloves that come in 14 inch. Some guys like I know Mike and Ben probably wear a 14 rather than a 13. Uh, and it makes it easier because they can make the 13s a little snugger fitting when you know you have another step up that you could go to for bigger guys. Uh, the $160 price point, they are expensive. Definitely less than like your $225 Evos, um, but much more than your value price point gloves, uh, the $100 like K-18s or your $130 M3s. So somewhere in the middle, but on the higher end. Uh, but th this is their highest end glove, so that does make a little bit of sense. Um, so getting right into the styling of the glove, which is certainly different. Um, and Brian and I were talking about whether we liked it or not, but one thing is it's definitely very interesting looking and it has these uh, kind of this porthole mesh pattern on the two middle fingers, uh, this vent here and up on the cuff, which gives it a really different look. And we felt it looked, it looked a little kind of hockey. Uh, they definitely are trying to bring some hockey inspiration into this glove. STX now is a hockey line. They're trying to bring a little lacrosse to hockey, a little hockey lacrosse and try and combine the best ideas from both sports, which I think is smart. Uh, so you see it has the big, 3D uh, embroidery on the STX, which is really high quality. Surgeon there, um, a cool like embossed uh, Surgeon logo here. Um, and overall, pretty simple styling, monochromatic gloves when you get the colors. And uh, personally, I'm partial to the fresh white. I've worn fresh white gloves for a while now. So uh, into the protection, which is obviously the most important thing for the glove. Uh, one thing that you'll notice here that's much different from other gloves is this cuff. And for you guys that play hockey, you'll notice it looks like a hockey cuff. Uh, it's one piece entirely that wraps all the way around the glove which to me was a little off-putting at first. Uh, the first time I put the glove on, it just felt really stiff when I tried to move my hand back. And this way, but as the glove broke in a little bit and this got a little bit more flexible, um, I did get enough mobility. It's definitely less mobility. Most have one split or, or two splits in this cuff on the front here, uh, which allow for a lot of wrist mobility going back this way, which is important in lacrosse. Um, so it broke in a little bit better, but overall not my favorite as far as wrist mobility because of that cuff. But one thing I do really like is this uh, kind of forearm protection right here. Uh, it's really flexible and well padded. It stays with your hand perfectly. Usually I will not buckle this because I find them really uncomfortable, but on this glove, uh, it's really nice. And the reason for that is that this part of the cuff is actually woven into the liner. You can see here, uh, that part of the cuff is part of the glove liner which makes it really, really comfortable. So those are definitely two unique features. One, I don't care for so much, but the other one, I really love on that floating cuff. And uh, finally, one of the great innovations on this glove is in some of the side padding in the palm. It's an Axwade palm, which we talked about before, is a third party product. Axwade is actually made by a completely different company and pretty much every glove manufacturer uses it for their palm now. It's like a synthetic leather uh, that lasts longer and is really comfortable, very durable. But what they have is a seamless construction in their palm. So you see these vent zones and these grip zones up on the fingers, usually you would have a seam, a stitch that would stitch this whole thing in everywhere where you see that grip. Uh, here they've created with the palm, with the axe weight, a seamless construction. So you get a much better feel, a much better fit. It's just much smoother. You don't have those bumpy seams everywhere you want some grip and some ventilation, which is really nice. And they did the same thing with some of the padding. So you can see here on the thumb, right in there's a pad, right here's a pad. Uh, on the side of the finger are two pads which are without seams, kind of I think heat pressed in. Uh, so they're much more low profile but still provide protection. So that was really nice from a comfort and feel standpoint. One thing I did notice about the, the palms is they were a little bit more slippery than I was used to. Uh, I was noticing I wasn't getting quite as much grip. So like these sections up here are not quite as grippy as I'm used to with other, other gloves which I definitely didn't like. But as far as flexibility, feel, comfort, uh, they're top notch. So overall, I really, really like these gloves. They're a little more expensive than what I would spend on gloves, but I did get to run around, play some one-on-one -on -one, uh, with Mike in them, and right away they felt very comfortable, they broke in quickly, and uh, I took some checks from Mike definitely, and the protection is definitely there. All these, uh, you know, all the padding on the top is a lot stiffer, sometimes you just get hard cardboard, and this has this ISO thumb, which is a harder carbon fiber material, and some really thick padding in the tops of the fingers, so protection. Is top notch. Couple problems with the feel, the comfort, and the uh, you know the grip on the palm, but a lot of great innovation in this glove and some really new things that uh, I think are going to be really exciting as we move forward with gloves. So, 
overall, I uh, hope you guys like the review. I hope you get a chance to check these out in stores. I always recommend you go to a store and try a pair of gloves on before you buy it online. Pretty important piece of beer, gear and it would be crazy to buy it off sight unseen. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments of the Surgeon 500 glove. Make sure to like if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And have a great day.